Hello friends, welcome to this video session. The topic that we are going to cover in this session is reactions of acids and bases. In this video lesson, we will understand the behavior of acids and bases in a better way and understand how acids and bases react with metals, metal carbonates, metal hydrogen carbonates, metallic oxides and non-metallic oxides. We will also learn how do acids and bases react with each other and what is the special name given to such a reaction. Let us now begin with the first reaction that is reaction of acids with metal. Let's see how a metal reacts with acids with the help of an activity. Set the apparatus as shown in the figure. Take about 5 ml of dilute sulfuric acid in a test tube and add a few pieces of zinc granules to it. What do you observe on the surface of zinc granules? You will observe the formation of gas bubbles on the surface of zinc granules. Pass the gas being evolved through the soap solution taken in a trough by means of a glass tube. Why are bubbles formed in the soap solution? Take a burning candle near a gas filled bubble. What do you observe? The gas present in the soap bubble burns with a pop sound, making a little explosion. And students, only hydrogen gas burns with a popping sound. This shows that hydrogen gas is evolved in the reaction of zinc granules and sulfuric acid. Repeat this activity with some more acids like hydrochloric acid, HCl, nitric acid, HNO3 and acetic acid, CH3COOH. Are the observations in all the cases the same or different? And you will observe a similar observation in all the cases. Therefore, we can conclude that metal reacts with acids to form salt and hydrogen gas. Let's now talk about the reaction of bases with metals. When a base reacts with a metal, then a metal salt and hydrogen gas are formed. For example, when sodium hydroxide solution is heated with zinc, then sodium zincate and hydrogen gas are formed. We can show the formation of hydrogen gas in the reaction of sodium hydroxide solution with zinc metal by using the same experimental setup as we have used to study the reaction of metal with acids. So, we can conclude that both acids and bases react with metals to form salt and hydrogen gas. Let us now move ahead and discuss the reaction of acids and bases with metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates. First, we will discuss about acids. So, acids react with metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates to form salt, carbon dioxide and water. Let us understand this by an activity. Take two test tubes. Label them as A and B. Take about 0.5 grams of sodium carbonate Na2CO3 in test tube A and about 0.5 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate NaHCO3 in test tube B. Add about 2 ml of dilute HCl to both the test tubes. What do you observe? you will observe that brisk effervescence of a gas is produced. 
pass the gas produced in each case through lime water calcium hydroxide solution as shown in figure and record your observations you will observe that the lime water turns milky which shows that the gas evolved is carbon dioxide keep on passing the carbon dioxide through the milky lime water for some time the lime water becomes clear again this shows that the white precipitate of calcium carbonate dissolves on passing excess of carbon dioxide gas we can repeat this experiment by replacing metal carbonate with metal hydrogen carbonate that is sodium hydrogen carbonate again we will get carbon dioxide gas which will turn lime water milky on passing excess carbon dioxide the milky lime water will become clear once again now if we talk about bases bases do not react with metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates you must be wondering why because both metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates are basic in nature let us now move ahead to the next type of reaction that is the reaction of acids with bases when an acid reacts with a base then a salt and water are formed let us know about it through an activity take about 2 ml of dilute naoh solution in a test tube and add two drops of phenolphthalein solution what is the color of the solution the solution will turn pink add dilute hcl solution to the above solution drop by drop is there any color change for the reaction mixture we will observe that after adding some amount of hcl the pink color disappears and the solution becomes colorless why did the color of phenolphthalein change after the addition of an acid this is because at this stage the entire sodium hydroxide base taken in the test tube has been neutralized by hydrochloric acid the color of phenolphthalein changes from pink to colorless because no more sodium hydroxide base is left unreacted in the test tube now add a few drops of naoh to the above mixture does the pink color of phenolphthalein reappear Why do you think this has happened? This has happened because after adding a few drops of sodium hydroxide solution, the reaction mixture has become basic again. Now, let us take one more example. If hydrochloric acid is treated with a base like sodium hydroxide, then neutralization occurs and there is a formation of sodium chloride salt and water the base neutralizes the acid and destroys its acidity since an acid and a base neutralize each other's effect so the reaction between an acid and a base to form salt and water is called neutralization reaction now we will discuss the next type of the reaction which is reaction of metallic oxides with acids to form salt and water and students you already know that metal oxides are basic in nature and therefore what 
we can say about the reaction of bases with metal oxides? Yes, right. Bases do not react with metal oxides. So, let's discuss an example of reaction of acids with metal oxides. Say, copper. Second oxide is a metal oxide. To it, add dilute hydrochloric acid. It reacts to form copper, second chloride and water. Let's conduct an activity to understand this reaction in a better way. Take a small amount of copper oxide in a beaker and add dilute hydrochloric acid slowly while stirring. Note the color of the solution. What has happened to the copper oxide? You will notice that the color of the solution becomes blue-green and the copper oxide dissolves. The blue-green color of the solution is due to the formation of copper second chloride in the reaction. So, we can conclude that acids react with metal oxides to form salt and water. But, wait, do you observe any similarity between this reaction and neutralization reaction? Yes, children, this reaction is a kind of neutralization reaction. Why? Because metal oxides are actually basic in nature and therefore this reaction becomes a reaction of acids with bases. Let's now discuss the reaction of bases with non-metal oxides. These non-metal oxides are acidic in nature and therefore resemble the neutralization reaction. Bases react with non-metal oxides to form salt and water. If we try to take a broader look, we can observe that non-metal oxides are acidic, right? So, this reaction is basically the reaction of base with acids. The bases react with non-metallic oxides to form salt and water. For example, calcium hydroxide, which is an alkali, carbon dioxide, which is a non-metallic oxide, reacts with it to form salts and water. Friends, in this video, we have studied the reactions of acids and bases. In the next video, we will learn about the commonalities of acids and bases.